And joining us on what now to discuss this development is the publisher, New Americans magazine, Deba Owajai. So this was not a question announcement. He has now made that announcement. And I just want to ask you how Americans are reacting to this. Well, it depends on the side that you belong. The, the Democrats, they've uh, always expected it. And so uh, for those who, the Democrats, who really, you know, do not care about um, uh, probably what some people are talking about, and that is age, uh, they, they are excited. And for the Republicans, it's, um, it's, it's also uh, another challenge for them because uh, they know that Joe Biden, being the incumbent president, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's an advantage, and also uh, for the fact that uh, somehow people have been uh, accommodating him, you know, in terms of uh, how he has been performing. And so uh, it depends on the, the side you are, you know. But I, I know for the Democrats, they, they are very excited that uh, at last he has uh, come up to say that uh, he's running. And so everyone can now um, be rest assured that they have Biden uh, running as the Democrats uh, candidate. Now, in that um, video to launch his re-election bid, we just played that video. Um, the very first images you see is a U.S. Capitol building shrouded in tear gas, um, depicting the, the, um, the insurrection on January um, the 6th. Now, he has also, he's also casting um, this particular election as a fight for democracy and personal freedom. Is that a message he can sell when Americans are concerned about inflation and cost of living? Yeah, it... it, it. That message can sell until probably Donald Trump is not is out of the race. But as long as Donald Trump is is in the race, is is also the leading at least for now candidate of the Republican Party, and that message can sell. Uh, however, if uh, eventually we don't know what will happen, you know, as we go down the road, uh, if Donald Trump is not there, then it's, it's going to change. That message, I believe, will change. Um, right now, that message is something that is very, very important at this time because uh, for him, for that's for Biden, because uh, Donald Trump is in the race. And so it's a message that will continue to uh, resonate because um, everyone uh, knew what happened, you know, before the last, before Donald Trump. Um, left the office and then uh, that is something that we continue to count against the uh, Donald Trump and also uh, the Republican Party. Mm. And, and not that he, his base, and I mean Donald Trump, not that his base really cares about the insurrection and, and they've said all of these um, investigation and, and court cases, indictment as it were, um, are basically a witch hunt. But let's talk about the age of President Joe Biden. He's now 80. And already the oldest president in That's U.S. Deep. history, right. is he likely to face yeah. opposition and competition um, within his own party? Right now, there is no strong, there is no strong position right now, and I don't think there will be, you know, except, except, uh, you know, he, he loses, you know, in the court. Uh, right now, everyone that is there is there because they are assuming that. If, in case, you know, Donald Trump steps down, that is, he, he can't, for right now in America, he, he doesn't have any rival right now. In his own political party, he doesn't have any rival. They can come in, they can, you know, they know, they know what is going on because uh, he, has, he has the vote, he has the people that will vote, you know, for him in the primaries. And they don't have, especially at this time that... Uh, Everyone is trying to come out, but they, they are just there as, you know, subordinates in case Donald Trump steps down. Mm. Thank you so much for talking to us as always. We're following political developments in the U.S. Uh, publisher, New Americans magazine, Deba Wadiai. Thank you. Thank you very much.